Good morning, everyone. How are you all doing? I'm Mystical, and today I'm bringing you a nice, simple little video on how to get passed through in Beat Saber. This was actually brought to my attention on our Discord server by Cole VR quite a while ago, actually. But, you know, sometimes other videos get in the way, but I do think that you guys should still have access to this. It's very, very easy, but it's not in the way that you might Thing. Some of you might remember, a while back on the Quest 2, we actually had a bug that sort of allowed us to have half pass through, half not pass through in games, allowing for things like pass through Beat Saber. And a lot of people were very excited for this. A lot of people loved it, and a lot of people used it, including myself. I love titles like Beat Saber in pass through. They just seem to work, since the background in some of these titles isn't necessarily as important as it would be in others. For example, you wouldn't be playing the forest in pass-through, as you kind of need the background there. But in Beat Saber, it is nice seeing those blocks fly towards you in your own living space. However, and there is a big however for this, this is only for the PC version of Beat Saber. Yeah, I know, that's weird, since PC Oculus software doesn't even yet have pass-through support. So how exactly is this going to work? Well, not only will you require a PC, but you will also require Virtual Desktop, as Virtual Desktop has a handy little feature in its settings called VR Pass-Through, that allows you to change any color in any game that you're using to pass-through. Which means that this isn't just for Beat Saber, but any other interface or game title that you might want it to be for. So if you find any other use cases for this, let me know down below. But let's focus on Beat Saber. Now that you have your PC and virtual desktop, well, you won't even need to have Beat Saber modded. This can all be done in vanilla, but if you have mods, of course, feel free to use it on that as well. Secondly, I would like to apologize for the choppy footage here. None of the headsets I have, Quest 2, Quest Pro, Quest 3, could record this footage with pass-through without being absolutely choppy. The Quest Pro was actually the worst here and basically made the game unplayable while recording, which was very weird, but I did my best and this is what we have. Now that you are in Virtual Desktop, what you will want to do is head over to the streaming section and turn on VR Pass-Through. Here you've got a bunch of different settings for VR Pass-Through where you can set the tolerance and the smoothness. You can also change the color in case you don't want to use black. And now that you have that enabled, you will want to launch Steam VR on your computer. Once you do this, you will instantly notice that everything is passed through, including the Steam VR overlay, which I found kind of funny. This is simply because we've used the black color, and the Steam VR overlay is kind of black, and therefore it has now become pass-through. From here, you will want to launch Beat Saber, and now that you're in Beat Saber, you will want to go to your left-hand side menu. The reason we are doing this is if you jumped into the title just now, well, a, yeah, you'd get passed through, but B, it would be kind of weird. Like, this is what it looks like if you just jump right into the game without changing any settings. This is because the background isn't exactly black, it's different shades of different colors that sort of look like black, and the tolerance is helping you out here a little bit, but it doesn't look pretty. So just like Cold VR said, you will want to jump in, enable custom colors here in the left hand side menu, and change the blue and the red blocks to as blue and as red as they will go. Then you will want to change everything else except for walls to black. And you can also change walls to be as much as whatever color you want them to be. This will essentially make the background completely black and everything else completely a different color, which should hopefully allow them to be visible over the pass-through and not have any weird opacity glitches and errors, which is what would happen if you didn't enable this. Now you can jump into any song that you might want and boom you should have passed through. It is actually that simple. You should now see the Beat Saber blocks and your sabers flying towards you in your own space. So now, let me show you a little bit of what this actually looks like in pass-through. Again, you will have to excuse the choppiness. There was absolutely no other way to record this. Even casting to my PC and trying to record from that caused choppiness in the footage. But here you go. Let's play some songs.
what I found kind of cool is that on the floor, the little square around you still shows up, and the reflections from the sabers now show up in your real life floor. Yeah, it isn't the prettiest, but it's definitely there. And this is actually a better solution, if you ask me, than the half-half pass-through option that we used to have in the past. The only benefit of that was it worked on standalone, whereas this doesn't. I'm actually surprised that nobody has yet made a Beat Saber pass-through mod for the quest. Not one that I know of anyway. It would be absolutely amazing to have one work natively, so that we don't need to have a computer in order to do this. I usually have access to a VR-ready gaming PC anyway, so this isn't too much of a big deal for me, and I use that for heavier mods as well, to allow me to run that, you know, without lagging and stuff. But others may not have a VR-ready gaming PC and might still want to use pass-through, unless there is a mod that I'm missing and just haven't heard of it. As you can see here, everything seems to work perfectly, and just as you would expect, Beat Saber and pass-through to work. Of course, if this was implemented in an actual native way, then you might be able to hide certain artifacts and other things like that, but we will have to work with what we have for now. Hopefully, this could help some of you out, and hopefully you have a fun time playing in Beat Saber pass-through mode. Let me know if you already knew about this down below, and let me know what other things you think this could be useful for, enabling pass-through in other titles using different colors. Either way though, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you all had a fantastic rest of your day or night. If you guys liked this one, please do leave a like. If you disliked it, I guess this button works too, but let me know why down below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, check out that Discord and our Reddit down below, where I want to see you posting your spice memes and thank you so so much to all the amazing people supporting this channel the patrons are going over me right now seriously much love guys you are helping out so much and as usual if you guys want to be notified of which content coming up on the channel make sure to smack that subscribe button with you before i ding my bell and see you next video peace dude <laughs> are you on wide angle no i don't have wide angle you do